G'day guys and girls, my name's Jamie Gray and welcome to another What Tradies Want product review. And look, we popped out here to Eastern Creek and we caught up with John from Rhino Rack. How are you, mate? G'day, how are you? Really well, thanks buddy, really well. Thanks for having us out on site today. Absolute pleasure to have you here. So John, tell us a little bit about your story with Rhino Rack, how long you've been here for and, and how the product, I guess, has evolved over that time. Well, I've been with Rhino Rack for seven years and uh, finally we're talking, the product we're gonna talk about was in its infancy when I started. Really? And it was just starting to make a big entrance into the marketplace and now it is our leading product all over the world. Fantastic. So what's some of, the, I guess, the evolution, what's some of the new features that I guess our tradies can expect to uh, enjoy with this new range? Look, uh, first of all, I think what we've always tried to achieve is maximizing uh, cargo management yep. and buying space inside the vehicle for people for yep. whatever reason. Yep. And it started out with just crossbars and then it evolved into platforms and then it evolved into platforms with a lot more functionality yep. uh, and a lot more accessories and it just keeps evolving every year because yep. people keep asking for more uh, versatility. Exactly, and I guess as tradies going out on site, uh, most tradies or a lot of tradies do pack down and pack up every day. The tools come home and back again. Yeah. So I guess in the past where there's been things like your wheelbarrows, your drop source, uh, things like that always end up in the back. But yeah. I guess now with the new weight capacities and loading capacities, um, the sky's the limit, right? Look, within within reason, it has to, certain weight considerations you've got to take into account, which are set by the car manufacturer in combination with what we do. But um, what we're trying, we're always trying to do is give the options to people to do what they want to do. It has to be reliable. Yep. It has to be easy to do and it has to be uh, versatile. Awesome, and that's, and that's a fantastic point that you made as well. I guess a lot of people think the weight limit comes from the racks, but it's actually the structure or the rating of the car. It is, first of all, the rating from the car manufacturer, and then it's how we put our roof racks onto the car. The actual mounting the system The actual itself. mounting system itself. So awesome. Um, but ours is probably the max you're gonna see anywhere in, the, in anywhere in the industry. But the reality is, it's about the versatility and the ease of yep. use. And I think that's- And the reliability. 100%, and I think that's something, like most tradies these days, they're almost as busy on the weekends, going paddling, fishing, yeah. surfing, up the coast, four wheel driving, beaches and tracks. Um, they're almost as busy on the weekends as they are during the week. And that's why they like the ease of the Pioneer system that we're gonna talk about a little bit more later on. Perfect. Um, they can use it for their work during the week. Excellent. And with a, an hour or half an hour's worth of conversion time, they can convert it to go out fishing, camping, whatever they wanna do on the weekend. Perfect. So John, what type of mounting system are we looking at here on the BT50? Okay, you've got what they call is, is our backbone system. And these backbones are made uniquely for different types of vehicles, like the Land Cruiser will have a different one, but this one's made specifically for the BT50. As you can see, it's a one-piece system. Yep. So it distributes the weight really, really well. And the Pioneer tray just bolts straight onto that, and this bolts straight into the roof of the car. Perfect, and it's quite a, a neat looking slim line. A lot of people, pretty sexy. <laughs> a lot of people buy it for the looks. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. Well, even though it generally does give you a little bit more weight carrying capacity, people okay. buy it for the looks. So in terms of accessories, um, you know, what have we got on here? Looks like we've got uh, quite okay. a few bits of pieces. This is set up more like for a recreational type uh, four wheel drive. So you've yep. got your shovel mounted on the side, or you can put a spade or an, uh, you can put an ax or whatever else you need in there. You got your max tracks mounted on, on top of the roof, although they can be mounted on the side. Yep. You got a swag tied on easily up there. And, yep. and when we go inside, you'll be able to see how easy it is to mount these things because we'll yep. do a picture from the top. Okay, perfect. Um, but it can be set up to do recreation. Yep. Tradesman or, or, or um, off-road, four-wheel drive. And it's only, what, a 10, 15-minute sort of well, change around? Well, depending on how many you are, you're looking probably about half an hour. Yeah, perfect. All right, mate. Well, look, we're actually going to head into the factory now, and we can have a look at uh, one of the platforms in detail and some of the new yeah, features. absolutely. That's Let's, great. Let's do it. Okay. All right, John. We're in your dedicated studio, mate. I mean, I'm impressed with the product, but the studio is pretty cool too, right? Well, when you've got a good product, you need a, the ability to show it off properly. 100%, mate, 100%. So look, we just had a look at the um, backbone, yep. um, and now we're having a look at the platform. So what particular platform is this, and what's some of this, uh, the key features? Well, this is what we call the new generation platform, which is a, an improved version of our old one that we've had out for about seven or eight years. Yep. There's different sizes to fit different size vehicles. Of course. So, yeah. if you've got a Land Cruiser 200 series, you've got a longer one. If you've got a BT50 like we saw outside, it'll be shorter and narrower. So you can pick the, the appropriate size platform to suit 
Definitely. car you're trying to put it onto. Definitely. And something that I love just having a look at this is, you know, obviously you've got so many variable options mm -hmm. with tie down points. You can mount these great little brackets yeah. and handles anywhere to help you up onto the side of the car to have a look at the top. Uh, there's just so much flexibility. You know what, if I was to try and show you all the accessories, we'd be here for an, about three hours. So yep. I guess really what we're trying to get across here is how easy it is to, to use the accessories that you've got. Yep. Um, to find what you need, you get on our website and you look at what you need for, whether you're a tradesman, a recreational guy, or, yep. a, a, or just whatever. Yep. Um, but what we've got here is to show you, each one of these planks has a, a, a channel in it like this here. Yep. And as you can see with this, this is, this is made to put the corners on a box yep. to hold it in place. And you just, it's so easy to adjust, you can make, make it as that way. Yeah, the tradies are going to love that way. Or that with, way. And with, you lock it down. With so many tools being stored in boxes these and days. And if you want to move it somewhere else, you just go. So simple. So simple. And that's that's the key. Yeah. That's the key. Simplicity. To, to, it's got to be reliable. Yeah. It's got to be easy to use. And it's got to be flexible. Awesome. And that's that's the essence of what we're trying to do here. Now, it's a great combo. Yeah, it is a great combo. Um, and so, John, some of the added features on this model that you were mentioning earlier that really jumped out for me was if you're running electricals, whether that be for say LED lights, um, spotties, anything like that, the days of having them cable tied around the frame or in there are long gone. It actually runs through the internal. The, the frame. old bird, ne bird nest of wire hanging out from under your tray. Well, we have a cut down version here that probably shows how it works. You can see the hole yep. there. You can run the wires through there. And then the corners, the lid unscrews. You can run the wire through there. You can actually put switches in there if you want to. Fantastic. And then just keep running the wire. So, so it's, it's weatherproof for one. And it's all hidden. Excellent. Now, while you've got that, there's something yeah. that I'd love to show. Just hold that up for yeah. us. Yeah. So what you can actually see here now, it, the numbering system uh, is actually for the installers. So yeah. on all of these platforms, this actually runs That's right. all the way around. So and what's it, what's it done in terms of efficiencies in fast tracking, getting the system together? Well, well the ear of the tape measure is gone. <laughs> With these goes, and what you do is there's a little window on this underbar, and the instructions will tell you what number to line it up under. You put it in there, you bolt it down with these bolts in here, done. Perfect. It's reduced the fit time by about 70%. Wow. From an hour to probably 15 minutes. Installers are gonna they love it. <laughs> Absolutely love it. When it comes to making adjustments to the rack, there's a pretty cool little uh, ratchet system there that yeah. comes with the system. Each one of these torque tools comes with every Pioneer tray. So when you're assembling it, you just you position the tray according to the scale, and then you tighten it in place, and you go until it pops. You can't over tighten. It's tightened to six Newton meters every time. Perfection. I love it. You guys are thinking it's well done. <laughs> We've used the product for several years now, so yeah. we know we know what we can do to make it better, yeah. and that's really what we just added, some improved features to this tray, uh, and that's gonna all come together in one big lump, and it's gonna mean a big difference for well, look, people I who can, wanna use I it. I can guarantee you, as I mentioned to you before, this is such a relevant topic for our tradies out there who are definitely looking to do all of those things. Yeah. Tick the boxes for the lifetime, free up real estate, inside the cab and in the tray, uh, just to maximize the, their load. So I think this is gonna be a, a huge hit out there in tradie land. So, You're John, right. thank you so much for sharing Can your I time. Can I just say one more thing? Of course. We want your tradesmen, when they buy this product and they use it, if they can think of something that they would like you to be able to do, yeah. come to the shows we're at, tell our sales guys about it, we'll come back and speed it back to the engineering, and you never know, it might show up in the next version of it. Fantastic, I love it. But there you go, guys and girls, thanks so much for tuning in. I hope you've enjoyed checking out the Rhino Rack system uh, as much as we've enjoyed showing it to you. Uh, stay really safe on site, make sure you strap those loads down nice and safely, and we'll catch you really soon. Thank you very much.